Hey guys, Serial Killer back again with another video for you. This time we're going to be doing some PvP and hopefully we'll make use of my new toy, Alicia, here. I am thoroughly enjoying her. She's got some weird runes on her and she's probably going to stay like that until rune day, but I will re-rune her there and then hoping to get some great use out of her. Already she's getting some decent use. Oh, and this team is what we're fighting. This bottom team right here is perfect to try out something I've been messing around with. I recently ruined a Fire Frankenstein. I farmed a bunch of them during the event, saw everyone saying they were junk, and then the, he just kind of sat. I've been playing with him, and I actually really like him. He is not copper. He will never be copper. Copper is a thousand times better at being copper than Fire Frankenstein. But you can't bring two coppers to a Guild Wars battle. You can bring a copper and a Frankenstein. So we'll talk more about that as things go on. Let's stay on this first team. This first team, the, their threat comes in the form of Bella armor breaking something and then Escher murdering it. I'm not super afraid of that, mainly because either their Bella is going to go first and armor break something, and then that gives me a little bit of time to get rid of the armor break, or I'm going to go first, do enough damage to something on their team, to make that Bella heal first turn instead of armor break and then when their Escher does his massacre for whatever reason the way that multiplier works it just does not do anything unless it's hit into an armor break so using those two monsters together I'm not a big fan of in my mind if you're gonna nuke with Escher you need a little you either need a really really fast Escher or a slower armor breaker like if you could get a Darien to go right in front of an Escher or an Escher to go right behind a Bella. I'm all about that. No one seems to do it, and frankly, I don't really have problems with Eschers unless it's on like a really, really nice team on like Sundays. I've definitely been soloed by Eschers. They are not a bad monster. I just didn't like that particular setup. Now, back to this one. I'm planning on one-shotting the tower with copper, and that's a gimme. There's no copper or no tower in the world that's gonna survive that and I'm planning on one-shotting him, I was a little bit <laughs> iffy on whether that was going to work. Uh, 17k, I could see a leg having more than that. A nice lag will have more than that. Um, my Frankenstein's only 35, five star. So there's more damage to be squeezed out of that. I'm currently trying to make myself fall in love with him enough to six star him, and I'm super close. I I really want to six star him. I just need a little bit more convincing. I'm super, super careful about who I six star because that's just too much time, too much fodder for me to waste. So I use, I tend to use monsters at 35 for a decent amount of time before they get six starred. Now I'm bouncing around between these guild battles, trying to find a a team that I'm pretty sure I can beat. B, a team that has enough life on them that when I kill them, it will help the guild win the war. And then kind of the bonus would be C, if I can find a team with kind of scary monsters that I think other people might be afraid of, but I have a specific comp to deal with, that is what I like to fight. And this is the perfect example. That top team, you look at it and it's a scary, or it has three scary monsters in it. Veramos, Annavel, Velajul. All super amazing scary monsters. Uh, together, I do not think they work, and I think my team's going to murder it. So we'll see how that works. The bottom team, we'll talk about it when we get there, but that, in my mind, is just a completely worthless team. I don't like this guy's round two. Um, I wanted to armor break the Veramos. Um, it doesn't really matter because Veramos is going to pull it off, but I was planning on doing that and one-shotting that Annavel. So I wanted to get an armor break on Veramos because he's going to be the guy that I have to tickle to death next. Now, the reason I don't love this guy's defense is mainly because Anavel is an amazing monster. If you're going to rock an Anavel, in my mind, you have to have a super scary death threat. If you've got an Anavel and a Trevor, now I'm afraid, because if that Annabelle AoE armor breaks something I don't want you to, and that Trevor murders it, you've now taken a huge advantage. When you put an Annabelle next to, you know, two 
support non-threats, then I just kill the Annabelle and then kill the other things slowly. It doesn't matter. Probably could have killed the Veramos first, and I don't think a Vela Jewel is going to kill anything with an armor break either. But it is possible if the Annabelle's YOLO for the Annabelle to armor break something and then kill it herself. So I go after the Annabelle first. Uh, coppering an Annabelle shouldn't really be a problem. Annabelle dies, and then it's a gimme win. Now, this team, they don't have any any elements in PvP. This, you know, maybe works on, you know, Sundays as a deterrent team in Guild Wars, or sorry, in Arena, because, you know, Praha can heal for a billion, and Brian can revive for a billion, and Breda can stun all day, but they're never going to kill anything. So in Guild Wars, where... You know, I don't think there's a whole lot of people skipping Guild War fights because it's going to take an extra minute and a half because people are hungry for Guild Wars. They want to win, and you're only doing a couple of those a day. Arena, where you're doing a ton of them a day, that's where I think you can you can scare people away by slowing them down. And uh, my Nikki just went ape shit and stunned the whole, or slept the whole world there. That was pretty cool. Um, in Guild Wars, like... This is just a free win. There, there's zero chance of losing that. They just can't kill anything. Um, sorry about that, guys. My phone rang, and we lost like half that last recording, so you don't get to see that Theo just murder me. Um, but that is what happened. He just got destroyed by a Theo. You do get to see this awesome black jackal dude. Um, I have not seen one of these yet. And his number two is basically Arnold's extortion, and his number three is a hit point based AOE. So I wanted to bring this Alicia in. I want this to be a cool fight. I'm either going to, you know, murder everything with Alicia and that's going to look cool, or that guy's Dark Jackal is going to murder my whole team and that'll look cool. So we'll see which way it goes. Um, looking at it, I'm feeling pretty good about it. They're, they're not going to get to go before the Alicia. Alicia is going to kill something and then get to go again. Oh, Alicia's going to kill everything but the Arnold. So key with Alicia is you have to kill something with your number three so that it procs the number two. It, she's not worth it if you can't kill something with the number three and get that free number two. That was a pretty big extortion out of that Arnold. Um, it came way too late, but that extortion almost one-shot my, my Nikki. And my Nikki's got, I don't know, 19, 20,000 life. She's not, she's not, you know, super sturdy, but she's not squishy and that extortion uh, basically killed her. This team, a lot more risky in my mind to run the Alicia comp, but I'm having a lot of fun with it. And uh, Lure, I think, just came through there and pushed that Veramos back enough. As long as this Verde doesn't revenge me right here, it's like a super win. I probably shouldn't be hitting this Verde. Oh, there's the revenge, uh, but it wasn't enough. Lure locked him, Lure knocked him down enough to where Verde's revenge proc didn't pick them back up enough and Alicia still got to go frankly I wanted to kill the Verde frankly I should have just hit something else I shouldn't have let them get that revenge proc or the chance for the revenge proc because I had Alicia coming up next she was going to kill it on her nuke going to get to go again kill some other stuff and that was a mistake on my end get a little little back and forth on Verdes I can never decide whether I want to attack them and kill them and you know, give them the chance to revenge, or not attack them, obviously not kill them, and prevent them from getting revenge procs. So I don't necessarily have like a golden rule with Verde, it's kind of a case by case bit, and sometimes I end up regretting it as soon as it happens. Now this team, with a Veramos who's fast and can ruin Alicia, and a Verde who's fast and can ruin Alicia, and a Chloe who's fast and can ruin Alicia, I decided not to Alicia it. I went with kind of a favorite of mine. These four monsters that I brought in here are are really nice. They're all relatively sturdy. I have my Randy ruined probably sturdier than most people do, and I lose a bit of damage potential on him, but he, he gets so much more usability. Um, I don't have a problem bringing my Randy to a fight with Camila. I mean, I don't like fighting Camila anyway. She can she can destroy stuff, but I don't go. Oh wow, they have a Camila. I can't bring Randy. Um, I'll try to tank the Camila with a Randy. I've got a defense rune on slot six, 
on that Randy, and I like it. His main job is to buff Copper, and I just want him to stay alive. And when he procs, he just did a, a massive amount to Verde. He still does great damage, so it's not like he's a wasted spot, but I vastly prefer that defense rune. If I had like much better runes on him in general, maybe I wouldn't go for a main stat defense. I would just try to edge my my sub stats over into defense, but I like it the way that my Randy is. And you're seeing this this team work exactly how it's supposed to. This team is really set up so that I don't want I'm assuming they're going to go in front of me and cast all kinds of nasty shit and I don't want them to kill anything on their first turn and I want them all to go before my copper and then I want free reign on killing something with my copper. I want to make it a very early 4v3. I want some of their cooldowns to get wasted into will runes. I would love to have will runes on my Veramos and my Bella. I also really like having other stuff on my Veramos and my Bella. My Veramos has a focus offset so that I can have hit points in slot 6 and my Bella has revenge and I can't decide if I'm willing to give that stuff up to get shield runes on them. So they currently don't have shield runes. In other cases I think you know I think Bella's usually better off violent revenge. On this particular four man team I'd be better off if I had will runes on everyone and I'm not fighting that Sierra, screw that. Sierra is like the bane of my existence. Um, but if I had will runes on everyone, it would be even that much more safer. Now, this team, I will fight this. Uh, Jultan is scary and can ruin people's lives, but I think I can handle it. I'm actually going to try to bust out my Alicia here, and basically the plan is I, I should be pretty well guaranteed to kill at least the Bella, with my Alicia's number three, and then I'll get a number two, and that number two should finish the Veramos and the Jewel Tan. And yeah, I got armor breaks all the way around. This guy is toast. Um, for whatever reason, my Nikki did very little damage. This guy is very tanky. This guy is very tanky, holy shit. So I just failed to kill something with Alicia's number three, which is exactly what I was telling you, you cannot do. So, yes, the Jewel Tan's dead, but I needed Alicia to kill something. That way, Alicia gets to use her number two. Then she would have also... Everything but Ramagos would have been dead if Alicia had done, like, two more damage to that Jewel Tan and got her number three special ability to proc. Um, we're looking good here. We're going to get this anyway. We did just enough blatant damage in the first turn to kind of pull our way through. This team was way tankier than I thought they were going to be. I thought, you know, it was pretty much guaranteed that that Bella was going to die and then let me uh, murder the other two. It actually, oddly enough, the Jewel Tan got closer to dying than the Bella, but uh, it's all going to work out. The Rama Ghost got a clean shot off there, which was more or less expected. You know, it would have been nice if it didn't happen, but uh, I completely planned for it. There isn't a member on my team where if the Rama goes clean shot something, the other three couldn't handle it. So I was planning on wiping the other three first turn and then 4v1ing the Rama ghost and losing something and it just not mattering. But uh, didn't quite happen to plan, but in result was, you know, everything died and I won. Another Sierra team. Um... Well, I don't want to skip, you know, too many things on my list, so I want to fight one of these Sierras. Um, I think I want to fight this Sierra. That other Sierra with a Bernard and a Megan in it is gross. At least this Sierra, um, I mean, she has good monsters with her, but I don't, I don't think this is the best comp to have with a Sierra. I think, I think I can reliably kill the Sierra. Uh, after I think Sierra's gonna move, but I'm gonna force her to bomb into a will rune, and then I'm gonna kill her, and then it's gonna be a 4v3. So I'm feeling feeling okay about this Sierra fight actually. I'm gonna bring all will runes or fire monsters, because Sierra will not attack a fire monster if there's another option, and she will not attack uh well if she attacks things with will runes it won't matter. 
I kind of want Bella in there for heals. Yeah, I'm... I decided last minute to go Nikki, and I'm going to skip my my deal here, and that's probably going to bite me in the ass, because the Sira... Yeah. So if the Sira nukes Nikki, I don't know why I did that. That was a terrible decision. If the Sira nukes Nikki, it's going to be bad news bears. So we'll see what happens here. Um, oh, got a little proc on Randy. Not going to be enough, but it, that was cool. And somehow my copper is faster than their Sierra, which is totally not acceptable. This guy just lost the fight because his Sierra is way too slow. The copper should not be going in front of him. Um, well, at this point, the fight's won. Um, my whole, you know, will rune fire aspect of it was wasted. A, because I was an idiot and brought Nikki, and then B, because that Sierra was a thousand times slower than is acceptable. I don't know what what their uh, goal here was, but it ended up, it's not going to work out for them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull those bombs off with my Nikki, which was why I brought her, but frankly, I really shouldn't have. I should have brought another fire guy or a will rune guy and been more worried about the uh, about the Sierra than the Jojo bombs. But I did bring the Nikki, so we can go ahead and cleanse the Jojo bombs. And we're I want to stun him because I don't want him to put that. I don't want want the cooldown to come down on his stupid shield thing. And we're gonna kill this Jojo. It's gonna take four and a half years because of the Pioneer Bubble, which finally just fell off. But um, we we won this one already. Unless that Water Pioneer solos my whole team, it's a win. Now, not to say that that's not possible. I have been soloed by a Water Pioneer before, um, but I think that that Water Pioneer just was, you know, had stupidly awesome runes. And I just noticed that this Chasoon got armor broken by my Copper's AOE, and it actually, that was a couple turns ago. It took me a while to catch it. I was so focused on trying to kill that JoJo, I missed it. As soon as I noticed the armor break on the Chasoon, and the immunity on everyone. I didn't want to go for the Jojo anymore. Switch to the Chasoon, kill the Chasoon, then move back to the Jojo without a healer. And then basically, I would love to one shot this guy. And that works from there. That wouldn't have been enough to one shot him from 100%, but he was, you know, already low enough. And if you don't let him get off his mountain power death punch thing with him super low, it's, uh, it's not as big a deal. And no armor break. Definitely he needs the armor break to be low. Now, I'm considering killing this one because that last Sierra went pretty well. I cannot I, I cannot make the mistake of bringing the Nikki again because they're, they're for sure going to go in front of me with a Bernard and a Megan. So we're going to go full fire and or will runes. The whole bottom three guys have will runes and Beretta is fire. So Bernard's going to go first, and or Megan's going to go first, make their whole team go. They're going to drop bombs into will runes. And, well, as I say that, that's not what they're going to do. They're going to cast the wrong buttons and get nothing done. So that's twice in a row I lucked out on a Sierra. Copper's going to kill this Sierra, and then I'm going to... Well, I don't have a way to dispel those Taurus bombs, so those are actually going to hurt, but I don't think they're going to ruin me. Yeah, so there's the Fire Frankenstein murdering a uh, Bernard, and now it's a 4v2. It's uh, about to be a 2v2, but I'm I'm vastly on the winning edge of this 2v2. So uh, Beretta and Randy can die, and then Copper and Frankenstein will have no problem killing killing these last two guys. And maybe we'll actually come out of this, un well, not quite unscathed, Randy down, but uh, more than enough wiggle room on that one. So that one worked great. I generally, you know, if I wasn't recording this, I wouldn't have fought either of the Sierra teams. I hate fighting Sierra. Uh, she's the bane of my world. But I figured uh, I'd rather not skip a whole bunch of stuff on camera. So we went for it, and it worked out well. So maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do more Sierra fighting. I like, I definitely like the fire and will rune stuff way better than that Nikki. That was. That was not good. I brought the Nikki in to cleanse the Jojo bombs. As soon as I pushed the go button, I immediately uh, 
regretted it. But it worked out. Uh, this team, Theo is similarly someone I don't like fighting. Because there's the Chloe there and the, the Veramos, like we can't, or at least I don't want to, like YOLO nuke it with an Alicia. So we're going to go for a first turn kill on this Theo Mars. I have a 100% accuracy to Saurian. So we're going to luckily not fail that seize. We're going to punch someone to get an attack bar boost. And we're going to Oblivion this jerk and armor break him. Uh, no Oblivion. So we're going to pop his Endure here. And then we will... Motherfucker. So we didn't even hit him hard enough to pop the Endure. So now they're... Theo Mars is full health, still has Endure, no Oblivion on him. It is not looking boy now. So we're going to try to Oblivion him, and we got a Despair proc off. Hell yeah, and he's dead. Alright, well there you go. I'm going to change the meta. Everyone else is going to start building uh, Despair Tessarians now. Um, my Tessarian has Despair on him because I stole a bunch of his runes for... For who? Uh, for my lure Megan combo, I kind of murdered the Tessarian, and then I had a bunch of leftover Swift and Despair runes, and I ended up taking the Despair runes, putting them on Tessarian. That, I think, is a temporary thing. That actually worked out great. Um, I don't know if you caught that, but I landed a Despair proc on a Tessarian, and he lost a turn in the middle of that, that me killing him. So he would have gotten to go and potentially murder someone and the despair proc on Tessarian uh, prevented that. I would have, at the same time, just for pure dice roll, I would have rather had Violent on him, and when I failed the first Oblivion, had another chance to reapply the Oblivion. So I don't actually think despair is the way to go on Tessarian, but I did it, you know, quote unquote, on accident or out of necessity, and it actually worked really well on that particular fight. All right, one more wing. We can do that one. Um, I want to see what the other two uh, options on my list are. And we'll pick something. That one's kind of gross. And I hate Bernard. Bernard and Theo together. So we're going to do this team. This team right here is a team that I think most people would look at and be like, oh, this team's super scary. I hate this team. I look at this team and go, this team is shit. Um, this is another one of those cases where they have good monsters, I don't like them together. Or in this aspect of the game, for that instance, as far as that Ariel is concerned. Ariel is probably the best raid healer in the game. In PvP, Ariel is, you know, I treat her like Arena. I just, she's, or him. I leave him to the end. All he does is heal. He doesn't bring any utility outside of healing. He doesn't bring any damage. I hate him. Um, at least in PvP. I want one really bad for raids. This, my whole battle plan here was to kill that Darien because their only way to win was the Darien to armor break something and the Veramos to violent 14 times and kill it. When that's their only win chance, I'm okay taking that odds because... Darian's probably not going to armor break something and then violent 14 times between Darian or Veramos. Either one of them could have violented a million times and killed me. But, you know, sure that happens and it pisses me off when it does, but that's the minority. <laughs> Randy just got a bitchin' chain proc there. So, my plan was I was pretty sure I could kill the Darian. I didn't think I was necessarily, or I was hoping to one-shot him with copper. I wasn't counting on it. I don't one-shot every Darian with copper. But I was hoping to either one-shot him with copper or kill him relatively quickly. And then I can take as much time as I want to kill the other three because they are never going to get anything productive done against me. Um, right there, I just popped onto my defense victory thing. It's a little bit misleading. I run a trash defense from usually until like Thursday-ish, somewhere around there. So I'm at like 9% right there, 8 or 9%. I just recently put my Alicia in on guild def or on arena defense to test it. And it's actually, uh, it's not going to work on Sunday because my I just don't have the right comp for it. But it's actually working really well right now. Um, I was whatever, 0 and 
140 or something when I put that defense in because of my trash defense from the beginning of the week. So that 9% is probably more like 40 or 50. My, uh, my history list actually looks really funny. I couldn't believe she's murdering people. So somehow, um, it's just, it's basically people without Chloe are fighting me. Other sad people like me that don't have Chloe are fighting me and they're just getting one shot by that Alicia. So this is another team like before where, this is a new Guild War, by the way, this is the second one. Um, but this is another team where they just, they don't have a threat. Um, and it was the perfect chance for me to play around with my Fire Frankenstein. He failed quite miserably at killing that Beretta, but uh, I won't hold that against him too hard. He did stun the shit out of that Bella, which I highly approve of. Um, that's the other thing people are discounting with Fire Frankenstein. He is not copper, um, but he does have some decent utility on him. His AoE hits harder than copper, and his single target, I think if you're running a low accuracy build, his single target actually has pretty decent chance to apply a stun, even though copper gets uh, accuracy from awakening. Fire Frankenstein gets crit, so it's a little bit easier to ruin him as well. But the problem with that other team is it was just, you know, Beretta, Veramos, Bella, there's no threat. The only chance they have of winning is their Bella violent or Bella armor breaking something and then Veramos violent proccing 12 times and killing it, which is, is not something I like to count on. So I don't like that team, but to each his own. This team, potentially much more kill, you know, action. That Sigmaris very likely could one shot either of the two people that he will hit. He's not going to hit the Ramagos unless Tassarian armor breaks it, which is frankly what I wanted to happen. I wanted Tassarian to armor break Ramagos and then everyone to just punch him for forever. And I knew it wouldn't take too long for Bella and Theo to kill Sig. So if it didn't happen, which it didn't, because you'll notice my Ramagos is on will runes, because Ramagos should be on vampire will runes 100%. There's a lot of monsters where I'm like, oh, you could go either way. One way to ruin Ramagos, and it is Vampire Will. I love my Ramagos. You'll see me fight people in both Guild Wars and Arena that I have no business fighting, rune-wise or monster-wise, and it just so happens to line up that Ramagos is a good counter on them, and every once in a while, I will destroy people, and, and it's... When you look at it beforehand, you're like, oh, you've got zero chance of winning that. That guy is just way better monsters, way better runes than you. And Ramagos can can really turn some huge tides on things just because he's such a great monster. And Vampire helps that a lot, and Will Runes help that a lot. Because he will not die in the first turn with Will Runes on. And best case scenario for me is something really scary and nasty like a Rakan or a Fire Monkey, kicks the shit out of him first turn. They won't kill him, and then I get to turn that back around on them. I love Hwaz. People will put Hwaz in defense, and I'll throw my Will Rune Ramagos at it, and the Hwa will hit me for a bunch if they proc a bunch of times. I've never seen it kill me. And then I can turn around and one-shot the Hwa next turn, or something else scary if I want to. So you'll see the Ramagos more. I'll spotlight him whenever cool stuff happens with him. And uh, hopefully, maybe some of you guys will play around with him. Ramagos is definitely one of those monsters. It's pure game changer. Everyone should have one. Unless you're just so stupid high in the ranks that you don't need one. Frankly, and at that point, I probably can't help you a whole lot. Anyone watching this and taking something from it, if you don't have a Ramagos, build one. He is gold in guild battles. Now, this top team, another one of those teams that probably doesn't have a whole lot of threat. It's totally possible that that Fuko just solos my whole team. So we're going to see what happens with the top one. Um, the bottom team, I actually don't think has a whole lot of threat either. Um, and I'm potentially going to bite my, my words on one of these because both of these teams could be really nasty. Um, I don't necessarily quote-unquote want to fight this team but I need to fight this team because no one else is and we need to kill it for this guild battle so we're going after it and I'm already kind of regretting how this first one's going 
So, oh my gosh. Okay, I thought that was a dead Megan. Um, Fuko actually hits really hard with after the recent couple buffs. If a nice Fuko is a really nice monster. I used to think that they were just trash like Rina. Fuko is amazing. I want one. I actually use the Water Lich, who is, in my mind, pretty blatantly worse than Fuko, but I don't have a Fuko, so I make do with the Water Lich right now. And really need that Fuko to die. Thank you. So I'm probably going to lose Megan here, um, which is okay. I think this is my last sword, and I really don't use Megan that often anyway. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think this is my last sword, so that's good that she didn't die. Um, this one right here, my battle plan is... Oh, yeah, sleep that shit. Sleep some more shit. Okay, not quite. Oh, violent proc. Yes! Nikki's just gonna... That's my plan. Nikki's just gonna sleep everything forever and then hit the whole enemy team 18 times in a row and kill each of them. Which didn't quite happen. But uh, Copper's gonna kill this chick right here. And now their, you know, quote-unquote, threat's gone. Um, Aquila is an awesome monster. Super want an Aquila. And I don't know the Wind Pyo's name, but he is also a pretty sweet monster. But once the uh, the Beth dies, there's just no more damage on this team. So this one should be an easy in the bag win. Kill that thing. I was hoping uh, to do a little bit more damage to this Wind Pyo, but it doesn't matter. Wind Pyo does not have. Ooh, actually, that hit my copper a lot harder than I want. I do not want to lose copper here. Um, but Wind Pyo does not have the. Uh, the kill potential that the water one does or at least I have not found them so far um, you'll notice attack power based heals like Nikki or Hwaki or something like that work for really good on copper um, that this is like a 80% heal on copper without an attack buff if I have an attack buff on my Nikki she will heal copper for more life than copper has it's pretty sweet um, this team Another team that I don't want to fight that I kind of have to. Um, this guild battle is really not going so great for us. I don't necessarily think we've lost it. We just, uh, we've got a bunch of people that haven't gone yet. And then we've gotten a bunch of draws on stuff um, where mainly I wouldn't necessarily want to. So my thoughts right here, I'm trying to figure out how to kill this team. The bottom team... I can't copper them because Arnold will one shot a copper. So, but I can Ramagos it. And maybe I can Alicia it. Frankly, I should be bringing one DPS, Ramagos, and one healer, probably an armor breaker, to that bottom team. I think that would be a safer fight. Um, I want to do it with that Alicia. And then that Makine, I like never use her for PvP. I love her in Dragons. If you don't have a Makine and you're not farming Dragons 10, basically 100%, build a Makine. Um, if you are farming Dragons 10 already, I wouldn't build a Makine. But for whatever reason, she felt like the best fit here. I wanted another healer, and I wanted a tanky healer to deal with these two wind jerks, and I'm kind of relying on having to kill this Theo like 500 times. Um, I'm I'm actually very seriously regretting uh, my choice here because um, I kind of would like... I'm going to be able to kill that Theo 18 times, which I'm going to have to, but oh, there it is. As soon as that damn Chasun puts glancing on my Theo, I don't have a way to pull it off. I should have brought Veramos instead of Makine. I would have had a little bit less heals, which I wanted a little. I wanted a second healer because of the uh, the uh, Theo, and I was thinking, oh, cool! I bring Makine. I'll take some of the glancings from Chasun. I would have been way better off just bringing a Veramos and just cleansing the glancings and the unhealable and the attack break off the Brian. Oh, shit. I thought I was going to get that Brian right there. Um, and they think they're going to get that Theo right there. So I need a Violent Proc to get out of these stuns. I'm not even worried about or these debuffs. I can't heal him yet. And there's some more glancing. This is, this is not going my way. 
I need some violent procs. I need to cut down that damage on that Brian too, because frankly, uh, they're gonna kill this Theo real soon. Probably before I kill that Brian. I need a violent proc. One, one violent proc right there would have been the match. Or right there, Bella could have killed him with a violent proc. But neither of those. Some more glancing. Let's take full and healable. I'm not feeling good about this at all. Best case scenario, you know, I get, well, it takes an hour and a half and I get some violent procs and kill this fucking Brian. Um, and maybe, god damn it. So, <laughs> this Chasoon, how many freaking times is she going to violent proc into it? And now it's up again. It's already up again. Her Falling Blossoms is up because she just violented 18 times. And now Theo's back up. Okay, so Theo's frozen. I really need to kill Theo here with a triple crush. And I just glanced 14 times, so that didn't happen. So, and now that Theo is violent, or uh, Falling Blossomed. Uh, I don't think this one's happening, guys. Um... At least the nice thing of this is I, I see where I went wrong. I tried to bring a Makine in here kind of for all the wrong reasons. Um, okay, Theo's down. I'm unhealable. I can't heal mine. My Theo's on his way out. Oh, but at least I have a Makine. So when my Theo dies, I can pull him back up, but uh, I'm, I'm basically reliant on getting more... I, I need to get like two violent procs in a row on this Theo, and I'm over it. That fucking Chasoon is just violent procing way too much. Totally, totally over it. Alright, so now I'm just going to one shot their whole team, and that'll make me feel mucho better. And Lure failed at armor breaking anything, so not going to one shot anything. Um, and this Arnold is going to one shot something. I think anything he hits, he can one-shot here. This was another bad decision. He's too slow. I don't think that's going to kill him. Oh, shit. All right. Cool. Stunned him. Uh, Alicia's going to punch him to death. And I'm still in this. I need to kill that Bella before that Bella heals. Ooh. Stun the Bella. No. Kill the Bella. All right, cool. Bella's down. So's Lure. I got this. So hopefully this, yeah, this is my last sword, which is, is good because I just lost, like, way too much. Well, actually, I guess I just lost Lure. I quit the other fight before uh, Theo died. I didn't think I was going to pull that one out. It took way too long to try to kill that. That Theo and that, that Chasoon having like nine violent sets on her was just pissing me off. So, took a draw there. Not ideal, but that guy needed to get fought. And hopefully the draw will get us to win. We've got a decent amount of swords left, so we might still get that one. Here's my Makine. I love her in Dragons. Um, let's actually look at this Bulldozer first. This is my Fire Frank. Pretty okay. He has just low base defense is really his big problem because he's a hit point monster. The runes obviously on him are not the best. I just threw these together. I require will on him. Guard and focus were just happened to be what I had. I didn't have non-focus runes. I didn't want focus there, but that's what I had to get at my defense. There's my Alicia vampire. Kind of weird, but it works for fame and farming, and that's just what I had left over. I've got a lot of vampire runes from, the old, from when Dragons was dropping. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.